when did it become acceptable to charge someone money for the bodily functions they have no control over? I don't know what it's like in other countries, but here in the UK, in London especially, a lot of the public toilets have barriers before them where you have to pay anywhere under a pound before they let you through. Now, the most I'd ever paid to use a public toilet was 30p. That was until the 16th of July 2013, a date I will not be forgetting. And on that fateful day, I bought a drink at my local station, I drank that drink on the train, and by the time I got to Piccadilly Circus, I needed to pee. I was going out for food before I headed to the theatre, so I knew I couldn't use the toilets at the theatre, so I thought I might as well just use the public toilets at Piccadilly Circus station. And what a mistake that was. And I wasn't in a position to hold it in before any of you say anything, because I was already doing that little pee dance that you do when you're really desperate. I was already going through scenarios in my head Head about what I was going to do if I wet myself and I almost did when I got to the barrier at the public toilets in Piccadilly Circus Station and saw that they were going to charge me 50p, half a pound, to have a wee. At what point did someone say, I know how we're going to make a bit more money? We're going to put refreshment kiosks at every station in London and when people have already bought their food and drink, we're gonna charge them again to crap it back out. I'd already spent a pound on a drink, so how did that liquid go 50p up in value as it made its way through my body? The moral of this story is when your mum asks you if you've been to the loo before you leave the house, you listen to her.